rejected. Uh, Barbara Stewart. Thank you, Mr Speaker. From New Zealand First, we believe that the Health Minister's appointment of a commissioner to run the Southern District Health Board basically demonstrates a belated ability to manage New Zealand's health services. The Southern DHB has been under government monitoring since 2010 and yet have still been allowed to reach a $27 million deficit this year. And that's set to increase to $42 million in 2016. If Southern District Health Board's financial state is due to board mismanagement, why has Minister Coleman allowed the board to remain in control until now? The reality is that Southern District Health Board has a, a range of very specific needs, a large geographic region, an ageing population and high rates of bowel cancer that the population-based funding model employed by, by the Minister does not just cater for. Rather than admit that he has failed to appropriately fund Southern Health Services, Minister Coleman has chosen to blame the board. Southern Health Services have already been cut to the bone by the board. Appointing a commissioner to find more savings will ensure health services across the district are stretched beyond breaking point. Yeah, yeah. We would urge patient care to be the focus of every decision made. When money is the focus, it is too easy for patients and the people who care for them to be sidelined. We see no way that a $27 million deficit that's predicted to increase can be brought under control without affecting the delivery of safe and high quality public health services and the health of thousands. It is time to clean the slate on this particular issue. And we hope that the Commissioner can succeed and that health services do not deteriorate in the short term.